Hey guys, what's up? It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. here with Fury and before y'all say anything she's standing weird right now but yes she is a little bit skinny but she's on eight pounds of grain a day so we're trying to get her back her weight back she we went to a race and she lost quite a bit of weight for some reason not sure I don't know if she got maybe a virus or something from there but yes she is on the skinny side but the grass is coming in good so she should be gaining really soon and you can even see her rip well occasionally you can see her rips but yeah there she is so anyway what i was saying was she thinks i'm gonna catch her which she's right what i'm saying is i haven't posted in a while today i thought i'd post and there's technically like three whole things going into this video um, but first, hold on, her hair's in my mouth. But yeah, so welcome back. I don't know if I'm going to be posting a lot again, but I just haven't really been motivated to post. I know I used to post a lot, but yeah. So, I'm going to halter her up now. I've been staying here petting her, so she thinks I'm just petting her, but I got fresh braids in her. And hey! I'm right here, doofus. See? She don't even pay attention. I'm right here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna Okay, help her. so I got Fury right here. Um why is that on the ground? Anyway. So yes, I've been gone. I haven't posted really in a while. Like I've posted a video here and there, but nothing like big or anything. So, I'm going to try to get back into posting. Try. Um, we do have a race coming up in like two or three weeks. I don't know the exact date. Um, but I'll be doing a vlog for that and stuff. And... I did take her, she's, I've taken her to two races. I took her to one in January. She did terrible. And she's, she also ran in five years. I took her to a place about an hour away um, two, a month ago. And we won the 3D and I wasn't even pushing her. So, yeah. This next race we're going to, it's a small place. So, I'm, I mean, I think we'll do pretty good. But she's getting her feet done tomorrow. Her feet aren't bad. But her shoe came off about a week ago. So I pulled the other one so I could keep riding. Because she only has fronts on. Well, not now, but she keeps fronts on. She doesn't need backs. So. Yeah, and I just rebraided her mane the other day. But. A lot, a lot has happened. Um, I'll go into detail more after the video. But I'm going to show y'all how to teach the come get me trick, which is where you get up or not. You don't have to get up, but it's where you like raise your hand and they turn their hind to you or their side to you so you can get on. Preferably while you're standing on like a bucket or something so you're higher above. Rascal, quit! So I'm going to show y'all that trick. And basically all you're going to need... There, it's pretty messy in the barn right now because we just moved our camper and we had to move a bunch of stuff. But um, all you're going to need is you don't have to have a rope halter, but for I just like rope halters. They're better for teaching and training and stuff. She doesn't need training, but um, a long lead. I just have, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a seven foot, six, seven foot lead. And I actually won this in a giveaway. MTH MT Horses. She's on YouTube if you want to go follow her. 
Um, but I did win that in a giveaway, so I'm gonna. And you're gonna need a whip or a stick, something that you can use to extend your arm while you're holding the horse. Um, I have a lunge whip, but that is way too long, so I'm gonna use my dressage whip that I got for Liberty when I was teaching Denny Liberty, which I wish I had continued, but I didn't. So let's get started with the video. So I've got my horse, I've got my whip. It's like a 36 inch whip. Obviously you don't want her to be scared of it. She's not really scared of whips, but I mean, she's a bear horse. She's had lots of encounters with whips. So if I'm riding and I like swing my split range, she does get jittery. But you're gonna, the first step is your horse has to be able to move off of pressure from the hind end and disengage the hindquarters. So I'm just gonna, she doesn't know. So I'm just gonna tap her on the hind end until she moves. You can tap a little harder. Total beauty of working with horses. So I'm gonna try on this side. And I'm not hitting really hard, I'm just tapping her lightly so she can feel it. Move her, move her butt. She's not gonna move, so I'm gonna move forward. Like that, good girl. This is, oh, this is her first time ever doing it, so she's obviously not gonna be good at it. So I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna work with her a little more, and when she's better, I'll get back with y'all. Let me escape in your A lot, not a lot better, but she's she's getting the hang of it. She understands a little bit better. Like this. Girl. See, she understands a little bit better. So that was when you introduced the barrel. Um, personally, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna demonstrate for y'all. But I would keep doing it until she can do complete rotations while keeping while barely moving her front feet. So um, I'm just going to work on that with her, obviously not during one session because she can't learn it all in one day. But when your horse is up to that point, you can just go up to something. She's very familiar with the barrel. She goes around them a lot. So you're just going to get her used to me being up here. And she probably thinks I'm gonna get on, which I'm not. So then, I'm gonna try to get her to move her hindquarters over. She 
doesn't want to stand between that tire because she knows she's blocked in. So right here she's at a good spot, so I'm going to ask her to move that hind end over. Step over is all I'm asking. Okay, now I'm going to talk to y'all more about my updates, what's going on. Um, this is my first time actually being on her bareback, so she does need to gain some more weight. We're working on it. I'm dumping all my money and stuff. But as far as updates go, today's um, April 23rd, um, in three days I will have sold my best, my best friend will have been gone for a month. Don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I sold Denny a month ago. It's probably the hardest decision I ever made. Um, I did it for a lot of reasons. I am not even going to go into them because they're just, it just, it hurts a lot to even talk about. But for what me and her needed to do, what Denny needed to do, it was best for everybody. Um, training colts and starting horses this year, I can't have more than two horses. So somebody had to go for that too. That's not the reason I sold them, but that's it was one of the reasons. Um, she, I didn't want to do it. The lady that has them, she's really, really happy with them. They had some trouble in the beginning, but he settled down after he quit missing home, I guess, because he was thinking he was homesick. <laughs> but that's what happened. And for the past two weeks, I've been working with a horse. His name's Cody. He's a buckskin. He's seven. He's basically wild. He's right here, actually. Um, we had a giant snowstorm in April the other night, so I have, there's two buckets in the pen because I was trying to get him in the barn because he barely, he like barely would let anybody touch him. And the gate, he can get in there, the gate's not open all the way because the mud is built up around the gate and it can't move either way. But he can get in just, just fine. So when I show you, don't be like, oh my gosh, it's such a terrible pen, it's so dirty. I, it's just, I haven't been able to get in there. I've been busy with school and stuff. But, yeah, so I sold Denny. I got a new horse. <sighs> Me and her have a race in two weeks. That's what's going on in my life. And I'm gonna keep working with her on the come get me trick so that way one day I can be like, hey look, she actually knows it. Because she obviously doesn't, you know, it's her first session, she doesn't know yet. So I'll make another video when she's got it down. But for now, that's what we've been doing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I'm sorry I've been vacant, but that's just that's just how it goes. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Currently he's he's mad at me because I scared him, but there's Cody. Cody! <whistles> that's Cody.